Hi, I'm going to show you how to crochet the basket weave stitch and I did it with an H hook and medium worsted yarn. You can change your hook size and your type of yarn. It's done of multiples of 8 plus 7. So I'm going to show you this with a sample of a 31 which would be 24 plus 7 and the pattern for this is listed down below. Okay, so let's get started. So I am going to do a sample of a chain count of 31. I am using an eye hook. I said uh, H, but this is an eye hook. It doesn't really matter what type of hook. Um, I do recommend anywhere from like a G, H, I, or J, just depending on how big you want the basket weave stitch to be. So this is done in multiples of eight plus seven. So the first round you're going to yarn over and double crochet in the third chain from the hook. So grab your yarn, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops to complete a double crochet. Now each chain across gets a double crochet all the way till the end. So that is the first row. Continue that on until the end. Okay, you need to chain two and turn, and each row will start this way every time. The first four double crochet, you're going to do four front post double crochet. Place your hook behind the post of the double crochet, yarn over, pull through behind, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Then yarn over, instead of going behind, and around with your hook you're going to go with your hook behind the post of the double crochet and complete a double crochet. So that's what it looks like for front post double crochet. You repeat that two more times. Now you're going to do four back post double crochet. You're going to yarn over, take your hook, and go behind and in front of that double crochet post, and then yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. And then you're going to repeat that for the back post, pull through two loops, and then pull through two loops, And then just take your hook after you yarn over and place it in front of that post. Grab the yarn, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops to complete the double crochet back post. And then just repeat that one more time. Yarn over and go from behind and place the hook in front of the post and then complete a double crochet. And then this is just a repeat now. You have four front post, four back post. Now you're going to do four front post. Take the hook behind the double crochet post for the front post. And then that gives the double crochet a standout three dimensional look to it when you do the front post. And then the back post, it kind of sets it back so you're going to do that for four times. And then you're going to do four back post. And just repeat that until you get to the end. Now complete with a half double crochet in that last stitch. Chain two and turn. Now you're going to do four back post double crochet, yarn over, and then go behind and in front of that double crochet post. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. 
Repeat three more times. And then you're going to work four front posts. So you'll take the double crochet and go behind for the front and work your double crochet. So we yarn over and go behind the front post and work your double crochet four times. And then that's the pattern back and forth. And this is three. Now you're going to work for back post. You're going to yarn over, insert your hook in front of that post, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, insert your hook in front of that post, grab the yarn, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two loops again for your complete of your double crochet, and then complete two more back post double crochet, and that is the pattern. Next is four front post double crochet and then next is four back post double crochet. You'll repeat that until you get to the end. So now front post for double crochet. Now you're going to complete with a half double crochet on top of the last stitch. Half double crochet, chain two and turn then you're on row four. Row four is four back post and the next four double crochet. So go behind and work your double crochet back post. Place your hook in front of that stitch. Now you're going to do four front post double crochet. This is for row four. So yarn over, insert your hook behind, and then work your double crochet for your front post double crochet. And then you'll be alternating between those two for back post double crochet next, and then for front post double crochet until you get to the end. Now you're going to do the four back post double crochet and this is for row four. It's going to look like this. Now you're on row five and you're going to work your half double crochet on the last stitch. And then you're going to chain two and turn. You're going to have to repeat rows two through five to continue on from this pattern. So this is the last row and you're going to work four front post double crochet Now you're going to work four back post double crochet and then you're going to repeat that. The two back and forth which is after this you'll do four front post double crochet and then you'll do four back post double crochet. Now you're going to do four front post double crochet and just repeat that all the way until you get to the end.
The pattern for this is down below, but a great way to remember this is you have to repeat rows two through five to complete the basket weave in sections. So row two will start with a front post double crochet, row three will start with a back post double crochet, and row four will start with a back post double crochet, and row five will start with a front post double crochet. And that's a great way to remember it is front, back, back, front. And if you, uh, you always have to repeat rows two through five. So I hope that helps you and um, the link for this is down below. So thank you for watching and please subscribe.